This has been such a long time coming. You demanded it and it's here. The tale of the pinball wizard. David is going bonkers over this video game when Weasel Face Eric comes along. Hey, hey, what's this button do? It resets the game. I love that Kiki is just considered one of the dudes. Like, this show is remarkably progressive in the lesbian rights movement. You've got to have a lot of patience. Hurry up, it's my turn. <sighs> it's Gary's turn, so pop on those slippers and warm up some milk for this snooze fest. Meet Ross Campbell. Ross Campbell was the kind of kid who was on his own a lot, so he knew how to take care of himself. If there was something he wanted, he'd do everything he could to get it. <laughs> what a diplomatic way of calling someone a sleazeball. Dead. Ross tries to steal the change inside the fountain from an old homeless lady, who presumably just wants to use the money to go back to college. What's going on down there? <laughs> the cop has his baton out, like he's gonna beat down the homeless lady. <laughs> Slow day at the mall, officer. So Ross hightails it away from the Ponine and into Mr. Olson's store. Hey, Mr. Olson. Mr. Olson owns some kind of hobby shop? I, I, let's just call a spade a spade. He owns whatever random store would happen to sell pinball machines. <laughs> the job. I want the job. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to hire any more kids. Ross has applied for a job, but apparently pinball machine sales alone aren't enough to afford another employee. And you can trust me. You never have to fire me like you did Steven. Mm, yeah, something tells me that Steven wasn't actually fired. I mean, it's a leap because Mr. Olson's reaction was so subtle. Mr. Olson needs to leave the store for lunch, so he leaves Ross in charge. <laughs> Sophie is his first customer, a sassy harlot who's looking to pick up her music box. I left my music box here. It's supposed to be ready today. It is? Ross flirts like a crayon. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. What's it look like again? It's a throne in a gold box. It must be here somewhere. There it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. The only box <laughs> and the only thing that's gold. Dear Mr. Olson, get a new cash register. The 1900s are over. It must be here somewhere. Sophie leaves, but not before spraying some pheromones around the room first. Thanks, Ross. Oh my god. Again. Afterwards, in the back room, Ross montages his way inside the pinball machine. As a kid, I would have loved this part, but I was I was super greedy and impressed with quarters. What kind of drugs did this kid do? Sophie. <laughs> So now Ross is on this quest to rescue Sophie, who is now a princess. Maybe don't open the locker's face first. <laughs> Just a suggestion. So Ross gets Sophie's headband, Tiara, and is on his way to the second level. Sophie personifies how annoying Princess Peach would actually be. This way! Sophie, wait! Like, just, just stand still! Sophie? Ross, the music box! Get the music box! Ross, for the fifth and final time, get the goddamn music box! Back inside Mr. Olsen's store, Sophie has been tied up by some medieval times waiter. I'm not going to- Executioner smash random ceramic collectibles. Luckily unpainted. Executioner love hobbies. Executioner is person too. The homeless woman becomes a disgusting witch, of course. The game is evidently called Collect the Princess's Trinkets. It didn't do very well in stores. The throne in 
the tiara. We still haven't got the tiara. Ross, I want I want a wand too. Can I can I have a wand? Do you want to give me a wand, Ross? This is a game. We have to find the tiara so that I can be crowned. So wait a minute. Ross gets a crush on this girl. So in his like drug hallucination, he dresses her head to toe in thick blue velvet. Oh, he's really having a field day with this one. <laughs> Slow down, Roz. Perfect. Ah, Did the witch just say raunchy? Raunchy. Mm, raunchy. The marbles! Use the marbles! Yes. <laughs> Physics is really taking a beating here, but then so is rational thought. So they escape the witch, but then this guy puts Sophie in a headlock. The game is over! Let her go! And Ross grabs the tiara and the music box and heads to the third level. I remember this. It's the pinball game. Hey, join the club, Ross. You're the very last member. Freeze! It's time for the final face-off between Ross and the Latex King. It's over, Sophie. I beat him. Look out! <laughs> the game isn't over unless all the characters die. That's no, that that's not true, is it? Because I've been playing charades all wrong. You did it. We won the game. Not yet. There's one thing left. Now you need to help me find my boyfriend. Oh, brother. What happened? But no crook goes unpunished, and Ross soon realizes he'll spend the rest of eternity in the pinball machine. Silver lining? Three quarters! Here you go, Dave. Still want to give it a go? Oh, no. I think I've outgrown this. Great job, David. You've scared everybody away from fun. The church wins again. Till next time. <laughs> A take to the camera? For real? Man, the director is fast and loose with conventions in this one. I give the tale of the pinball wizard 11 stolen quarters out of 16 stolen quarters. <laughs> So Ross tries to steal the change from the fountain from an old... So Ross tries to steal the change from inside the fountain from an old... From, 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 from. From, from, from. And while I have you here, captive audience, uh, I've decided to make t-shirts as my first line of merchandise. Um, and I want your input as to what you'd like on them. I'm thinking on the back, I would like it to say YouTube Bosch 87 or something along those lines. And then on the front, what I'm thinking is just the word Zeeb. Um, or something like that, but if you have another suggestion, I've had a lot of good ones so far, maybe something to do with the rating system, or uh, totally Spooksville MJH. If there's like something that you liked from the series so far, then let me know, and uh, I will take it into consideration, and you will hear from me soon as to where you can get them. So, bye.